Inés Aguirre. Uh, my character name is Luthien Hargreaves and I'm part of Earthship Isabella. I'm also the head of the Earthship Isabella Art Department. But the comic book that we're doing right now is called The Misadventures of Airship Isabella. It is pretty much like an art, a project for the art department. We grab short stories, like 300 world, uh, word stories, and we pass them into comic form. Uh, most of them are like background stories of our characters, like for example, uh, my character, Luthien, she's a vampire and she goes like into town, all the little things of mishappenings that happen to her in town we transform into short comics. A lot of the things that we uh, also add to these stories are things that happen throughout conventions, uh, behind the scenes, while we're traveling, all those little adventures and things that happen to us. We pass into comic form and we are releasing uh, twice a month on our website. We're pretty much like warming up to eventually be able to publish a full-on comic of the canon story of the Airship Isabella. Uh, one of the things that we're talking about during our panel about illustration and art in the steampunk world was where you get uh, inspiration from. Uh, a lot of the things we get inspiration from is the things that we like, for example, video games, movies, books that you read, music that you listen to the way that you imagine them, or grab elements for different things, mash them together with your own style, and then when you come up with that. Also, there is historic references, like you can grab inspiration from Art Deco and Art Nouveau, just the machinery or architecture, just all the different design elements that you can mix together and transform them into what uh, it's simple illustration. Uh, was pretty much because a lot of these short stories they were just too funny, and we decided that they would look uh, pretty hilarious in comic strips. And it was mostly we wanted to do something to practice our skills all the time. So we started transforming all these little funny stories into comics and publishing them out twice a month. Uh, mostly, as I said, it's our own project where we're trying to just get better our own drawings, keep our, in our toes with our own skills, so we try to publish the things out. It's just little short strips, traditionally done, or sometimes are digitally done too, uh, and we put them out there for, to share with our fans and our public. www.worshipisabella.com You can find all the the three installments that we have right now and the stories that goes with them and we are going to be publishing a new one soon probably on the 16th uh, it's going to be fun <laughs>